Hey there guys, today we're taking a look at Battlefield 2042 running on the AMD Ryzen 5 5600H and this is running on the B-Link SCR5 Mini PC. Now the game is currently running right now at 720p with the lowest in-game graphics settings because using anything higher than 720p is absolutely brutal when it comes to performance. As you can see here, even at 720p with the lowest in-game graphics settings, we aren't exactly getting the greatest experience here. In particular, our 1% lows do tend to struggle quite a bit. There are pretty frequent drops in the performance throughout the entirety of the experience and it can just drag down what is otherwise a pretty decent average. If our 1% lows were at least a little bit higher from where they were at, this would actually be a pretty good experience overall. But in general, while playing this, it could get really rough in very specific areas. Sometimes things would actually feel perfectly fine and you could get away with playing the game perfectly without any real noticeable issues. But then you'll have these moments of stutter, especially if things start to get really intense you start getting attacked by a helicopter or by a tank or there's just multiple enemies on screen shooting at you pretty much when things get really battlefieldy that's when things really start to drop down and that's really the worst possible situation you could realistically be in perhaps if we had a little bit more tdp to this specific chip maybe things would be able to level out because we are limited to just 35 watts in this mini pc while the tdp of this chip itself is by default supposed to be 45 of course many manufacturers can configure it to whatever it is that they want, but there are some pretty major diminishing returns when it comes to the TDP. So getting an extra 10 watts into this isn't exactly going to boost our performance by 10%, but it might level off those 1% load drops that are happening, but realistically, I really don't think that that's going to be the case. It certainly was playable enough. I did actually enjoy myself playing this game, and it at least performs at a functional level in comparison to what we had seen before with the 5500U, where that was a complete slideshow, though that was closer to the launch of the game. This game at this point has gotten pretty consistently updated, so perhaps now the performance would be better on the 5500U, but this is already a best case scenario with a far more powerful APU, and in general, we're still struggling. Unfortunately, this is about as low as I can drop the resolution. I really can't go down to 634p or anything like that. Perhaps that would be enough to bump up those 1% lows, but this is the lowest that I can go to in the end in-game menu itself and at this point it really is a judgment call on your part on whether or not you can summon this you can of course play the game on the game pass so you're not exactly spending a lot of money to play it and if you're someone that's used to playing games on apus this might be perfectly acceptable for you i certainly found it more playable than a lot of other games that we've tested out so i would say that this is really just based off of your own personal judgment on here the averages that we're getting are looking pretty rock solid but it is those one percent lows that really drag down the overall experience but as you can tell by the frame time charts throughout the video there will be moments where things actually look really decent but then the crazy spikes end up coming around and really dragging down the whole experience so again it is your judgment call on that if you guys are interested in picking up this mini pc you can check out the amazon affiliate links down below that will help to support the channel and if you want to support directly you can always become a member for as little as a dollar a month but anyways i will catch you guys in the next one